In the last video, I showed you how to make a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire PowerPoint game. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add the lifeline. So let me give you a quick demonstration. I go to slideshow mode, I click on start game. The game begins, the questions appear, and if I choose the 50-50 lifeline, two of the answers just disappear. Isn't that beautiful? And if I click on the audience lifeline, I get this bar graph. And with this, I can understand that this is the correct answer. I can click on that and go to the next slide. And afterwards, both the lifelines disappear in the subsequent slides and only the remaining lifeline remains. If you want to learn how we did this, stay tuned, hit the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe to my channel. I know it's not fair to ask you before you watch the video, but do it at the end if you like it, right? Alright, let us now start the video. The first lifeline that we will be making is the 50-50 lifeline which removes two wrong answers from our screen. Take an oval shape, draw it over here. And within that, type 50, 50. Let me make it a bit bigger. I'll make this bold. And we can add effects to it as we please. Now select the shape. Click on selection pane. And change the name of this shape by double clicking over here. And typing LL5050. Which refers to lifeline 5050. Over here, we have three long answers. Right. Let us choose any two wrong answers at random. Let that be A4 and A3. And we are going to make these two shapes disappear when we click on 5050. So select A4 shape. Go to animations. Click on add animation and choose fly out under exit animation. Now click on animation pane over here. We see that A4 animation is present over here. Click on it under trigger animation on click off LL50. Perfect. Now do the same with A3. So A3 shape is over here. We are going to add the fly out exit animation. And we are going to bring this under the trigger animation of LL50. And we are going to change this to with previous. Now, if I test the game out and I click on the 50-50 lifeline, these two disappear. Now, the thing is, we need to have this in every single slide and it should disappear from all the subsequent slides after it is clicked once. Let me delete the additional slide once. I'll make all the animations here first and then we shall duplicate this to make more questions. So the 50-50 lifeline works and I want this to appear and not just remain on the slide in the beginning. So to do that, I'm going to select the shape and I'm going to add a fly in animation and this will be from the left. And with previous and I'm going to increase the time. And under effect options, I will be adding some bounce because bounce makes everything look nice. Now we shall duplicate the shape. How? Hold Control Shift on your keyboard and drag it over here. Perfect. The next lifeline that we shall be making is call a friend. So I'll be typing call within it. Now in my selection pane, I'm going to change the name of the shape to LL call. Now we need to add a 30 second countdown or a progress bar when a call the friend lifeline is being used. So to do that, I'm going to take a shape over here, the rectangle shape. I'm going to draw it over here. Perfect. Let me change the color to golden and remove any outline. Now, this is rectangle 2, right? I'm going to change that to LL call 30 seconds. And once the shape is selected, under animation, add animation, we are going to use the wipe animation. And under effect options, 
from the right. Now we shall change the time duration of this animation to 30 seconds. Type 30 and click on enter. Now if you play this animation, you can see that it slowly disappears and a 30 second progress bar is shown. Isn't that beautiful? Now this should occur on the click of LL call. So click on trigger animation on click of LL call. Perfect. Next, we are going to duplicate this shape once more. And the last lifeline, but not the least, is the audience pool. Right, let me just keep odd the ends over here and reduce the size. So this will be LL audience. So I'll just keep odd over here. Now what is this going to do? This is going to show a graph. The graph is randomly going to show which answer could be correct and you will have to make the graph. Click on insert, choose chart and we are going to use a normal bar graph over here and click on OK. Over here we just need one series so let us remove the other two. We know that the first answer is correct. So let me go give 60% to the first one and for the second one I can give 20, I can give 15 and the last one can have 5 percentage, right? So this is our bar graph. I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to remove the series. I'm going to remove the categories and perfect. We have a bar graph over here. So this is our bar graph and we need to make this appear when the audience lifeline is clicked. So click on animations, make sure the bar graph is selected, add animation and choose fly in. And we can change the effect options for it to come from the left. And as usual, I love some bounce animation so why don't we go add that in. And the trigger animation for this is going to be LL audience over here. Perfect. So all the lifelines work as intended. Now what we can do is we can write a VBA code to make this disappear in the subsequent sprites. To do that we need our developer tab. But the developer tab is not on by default. Go to home, right click over here, click on customize the ribbon and make sure that your developer tab is checked. Click on OK. Now go to your developer tab. Click on view code and right click new project over here. Click on insert module. Now we need to type a subroutine or the code. Do not worry, you can copy paste this from my website or let's write it. It's just a few lines and you will also learn how to do it. Start with subroutine lifeline. And I'm going to have a parameter saying OSH as shape. This is going to tell us what shape has been clicked. I'm going to have a for loop which is 2 to 16. Why 2 to 16? The first question is in second slide. So the 15th question of the game is going to be in the 16th slide. And this game is going to have 15 question slides. If you want more, you can adjust this manually. What are we going to do in all these slides? We are going to hide a shape. How do we do that? With this code. What's the name of the shape? OSH.name. What is OSH? That is the shape that is being tracked. Perfect. So our code is ready. Now we also need one code which shows all of these, right? So if it has been hidden, we need to show it. So I'm going to make a subroutine called initialize game. I'm going to copy the same code from before. But I'm going to do something different. I am going to type the name of the shape over here, such as LL5050 and make it true. So it's going to be C true. Copy this line of code twice. Now over here, it's going to be LL call and finally LL odd. This code will be run on the click of the start game button in slide number one. We also need to go to the next slide, right? 
For that, use this code active presentation dot slideshow window dot view dot go to slide two. Perfect. Go to slide number one, click on start game, go to insert action and run the macro initialize game. Now go to our second slide, select the 5050 lifeline and we are going to choose the macro lifeline. Do the same with all these three buttons. All right. Now we need to copy this 14 times. So in total, we will be having 15 question strides. Now you can type your questions and you can also shuffle the correct and the wrong answers and you'll be good to go. You can change the bar graph by selecting it by going to design, clicking on edit data and you can change it accordingly. So for example, I bring the second on the correct answer to the second button. It's going to look something like this. And I'm going to give the second bar, say 55. And I am going to keep this 20. So like this, you can change and shuffle the correct and wrong answers. And you can also change the data of your bar graph. I also have a premium game where all of these functions are done randomly using VBA codes which is available for purchase on my website. Now before we test the game, we need to save the game in .pptm format. If you save it in the normal .pptx format, all these codes will not work. So go to file, select save as and make sure you change this to .pptm and you can save the game. And most importantly, please like the video as it tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is useful and you'll be helping a lot of teachers around the globe. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. I also do freelancing and if you want to contact me, my email is right here. Meanwhile, you can also get this game for free on my website at pptvba.com.